वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू द प्रोग्राम अज के सैगमेंट में असं गलबात करा सैयद नूर जहान न जोड़े कि नक्शबंदी सिख के रूमी सेंटर जो वैंकूवर है उसके मुखी ने इस्लाम के जो सूफिजम की अहमियत है तो खास तौर पर प्यार मुहब्बत न जिस तरीके इंसानियत का मैसेज फैलाया जा रहा है इसको मुख रख के आओ कुछ जानकारी लेने कि इस सैक्ट वालों किस तरह सारी दुनिया में एक मैसेज दिता जा रहा है कि असी चंगे इंसान बन के ना सिर्फ अपनी बेहतरी करिए पर समाज में भी कुछ बेहतर कर सकी स्वागत करते हैं अच्छे इस प्रोग्राम आए हुए मेहमान साढ़े सैयद नूर जहान जी का वेलकम टू प्रोग्राम थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग यू सो सर लिटल बिट अबाउट योर सेल्फ हाउ डिड यू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन दिस मूवमेंट आई वुड से Yeah, they have an expression that the, you, you think you choose your path, but the path chooses you. <laughs> that uh, whatever Allah opened in my life to want the flavor of spirituality and want the flavor of the heavens <laughs> and lose a little bit of the desire and the flavor of the material world <laughs> was about uh, 16, 17 years ago. <laughs> yeah. So before that, uh, what were you doing, and how did you get influenced to come into this <laughs> uh, business? Okay. Business school and and business and and uh, running a su successful business mm -hmm. in, in California and okay. Los Angeles. Right. And the uh, material desire not satisfying, mm -hmm. and as much as you achieve, there's always still a hunger. Right. And uh, that's when we say, by the grace of Allah and the grace of God, mm -hmm. that something was put into my heart to search for something else. Right. And that became my spiritual path mm -hmm. sp to so search for that reality. Could you share that? Uh, because when you get inspired, as you said, you know, mm -hmm. in the material world, uh, that hunger was not being fulfilled. But there yeah. must have been something which moved you that yes, this is not my path. I have to choose some other path, or another path is waiting for me. Yeah, the doors is opening for me. Is that when when you feel the hunger, mm -hmm. and it, uh, you just you can't eat enough. Of, of realities, you can't, you, you, it's a burning hunger within the heart. Mm -hmm. And then to begin to see the eyes of the heart open mm -hmm. and show the emptiness of the material world. Right. That by looking uh, left and right and friends and all their desires were just to, to buy cars and purses and houses and, and the spending of money and mm -hmm. they're not also happy. Right. So then that again we say it's only by the grace of God that something opens within your heart to mm -hmm. see something more eternal. Right. So we went to the mosque and went back to the Islamic background that mm -hmm. we have. We went to the mosque, we went to all of the practices and even something more was yearning within the heart. Right. That there has to be even more than just the, the form right. and the, the acts of the form. Mm -hmm. There has to be something from my soul. There has to be something spiritual. Right. And when we didn't necessarily find it in our first viewing at the mosque, mm -hmm. we were inspired to create something at our home. Mm -hmm. Where we opened our home for Friday uh, dinners. I handed out flyers to get people to, <laughs> to come and eat with me. Okay. I'm hoping that we would have some sort of a spiritual association. My wife and I, we, we cooked and had maybe 20, 30 strangers every right. Friday in our house. Mm -hmm. And then we would talk about the Quran, talk about uh, Islam, talk about realities. Mm -hmm. And hoping that Allah would open a way, God would open a way for right. spirituality. And He did. And mm -hmm. He sent eventually people to the house that told us, no, there are the people of Tasawwuf, the people of Sufism, mm -hmm. that wish to purify themselves. They right. have practices of recitations mm -hmm. and, and practices of tafakkur and meditation and contemplation. And they introduced me to their group. Right. And they took me to their association. And, and that was uh, the miracle. Mm -hmm. When my heart was attracted to their practices, attracted right. to their way, mm -hmm. the way that they spoke very spiritual, very loving understanding, that right. the way that they practice their practices. Mm -hmm. It was just uh, something very beautiful that right. attracted my heart. So Sayyid Nur Jahan, uh, this was a life-changing experience for yeah. you and uh, you got transformed and you started a new life. Now, when we talk about the previous life which you were living yeah. and today what everybody who is pursuing and wants to pursue, yeah. religion as such, we have compartmentalized. Uh, religious activities, religious ceremonies, mm -hmm. we are very much wanting to do that. But the basic essence which every religion points out is to be a good human being, to be a mm -hmm. spiritual being. Now, when we see this path and we tread mm -hmm. on this path, mm -hmm. do you feel that religion needs to be compartmentalized as uh, we are doing right now or it needs to be reflected in every action of ours? Yeah, I think that we, we have to review our religions. Mm -hmm. And what, what's happened because of material desire, 
the material desire has made religious practices very superficial. Mm -hmm. That we, we do it almost like cultural acts. Right. And they become very dry, they don't have a, a depth to them, mm -hmm. and they don't have a heart and soul to them. Right. So we have the body, right. we nourish the body, we even give the religious forms to the body, but not to the soul. Right. So it means the soul of every aspect has been lost. The soul mm -hmm. of doing business, mm -hmm. the soul of interacting with our family, and the soul of our religion. Right. Which you use all world religions mm -hmm. based to discipline the body. Right. But there are practices that mm -hmm. you have to do for the soul. Right. And we, d we teach that within the mosques and within our community centers and everywhere we go, that we are the people of love. Mm -hmm. And if we're not expanding that love and not doing things out of love, right. we're basically just doing a form. Mm -hmm. And God is not interested in just the form, right. but He wants the body, mm -hmm. the soul, and the mind mm -hmm. all to be encompassed within the practices. Mm -hmm. So it means the holistic and the whole is missing, I think, in all the world religions right now. Right. Everybody's stuck with their forms, mm -hmm. their laws, their yes and no's, mm -hmm. but where's the spirit of it? Of right. the law. Mm -hmm. That's being lost. And that's, right. that's what I think the Sufi masters, religious masters, spiritual masters, their duty in this life now mm -hmm. is to shed that light in a very dark time in right. humanity right now. So, Sahih Sahib, today I would like to go on this journey of uh, self exploration, what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sufism is known to a lot of people, but if you could elaborate on what are the basic tenets on which uh, you spread this message and how every human being can take advantage of that. Yeah, I think that the, the core of it that is from a hadith of Prophet Sallallahu teaching that if you don't know yourself, mm -hmm. you don't know your Lord. Right. So then the pursuit is to find mm -hmm. myself. And in the movement of finding myself, I will find my Lord. Mm -hmm. And another ha holy hadith of the Prophet is that God doesn't encompass the heavens or on earth, mm. but the heart of the believer. Right. So it means if God is going to be in my heart mm. and I won't know Him until I know myself, right. I must take a path of knowing myself. Mm -hmm. Because now in the world there are so many people who claim to speak for God, right. but they don't even know themselves. Right. How could they claim to know God when you don't know yourself? Mm -hmm. What are your realities? What mm -hmm. are your traps? What are the, your desires? What are the, d the demons and the devils that grab you and bring you down mm -hmm. so that you can be free from the affliction of the material world right. to get to know God? Mm -hmm. And that has to be the path of self-realization. Right. So uh, this pursuit of finding yourself is a path to God, as you have said. Sure. And uh, how to start with that? Because everybody hates to this. Could you tell us uh, how to start on this journey mm -hmm. so that we understand ourselves first and then definitely we'll be able to reach the path where we want to lead? Yeah, t taking a path is, mm -hmm. is, is the first step uh, again from Hadith is take one step right. and God will come 99 steps mm -hmm. towards you. It means as soon as I declare that I want to, to know you, mm -hmm. my Lord, but I want to know myself. Mm -hmm. And then the teachers and the importance of the teachers is to begin to teach that you have to begin to reflect upon yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to begin to try to discipline yourself so that you can find where your discipline is lacking. Mm -hmm. So that's where the religious practices will show me where I'm, I'm a little bit wild. Mm -hmm. Why don't I have the ability to pray or pray on time? Because right. my body doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. My body would rather watch TV or go to the movies. Mm -hmm. That's a path of knowing myself. So right. I begin to write. Mm -hmm. I make a hisab and accounting of myself. Mm -hmm. That, oh, myself doesn't like to be disciplined. Right. Then when you interact with people, do you get angry? If you get angry, then again you begin to know yourself. That why is myself getting angry? Mm -hmm. Why is myself getting jealous? Right. So you begin to find all your character defects. Mm -hmm. And then you begin to understand that all the religious practices right. were to discipline myself. Mm -hmm. So why I have to fast? When I don't want to, right. then I get to know myself. Mm -hmm. So then when I'm trying to find myself, I begin to put a discipline on it. Right. So I'm going to fast just to bother myself right? because he doesn't like to do it. Mm -hmm. So then I get to know, know myself. Right. I know what makes myself to be angry. Mm -hmm. I know what myself is lazy. Mm -hmm. That is the reality that God wants from us. Right. Is when you identify yourself, mm -hmm. you begin to identify the problems. Right. When you identify the problems, mm -hmm. you can be truthful in your recovery now. Mm -hmm. 
Because if you just go to a shaykh or guru or teacher mm -hmm. and you don't really know yourself, mm -hmm. everything he teaches you, you're going to argue with. Right. No, no, that's not me. I'm a wonderful person. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you may think you're wonderful right. until you've been squeezed a little bit, tested a little bit. And then, everybody the thinks, yeah. and then the reality <laughs> yeah. comes out. Right. Everyone says they're sweet right. until right. they're tested. Right. And then you see it like a bitterness or a sourness begin to come out. Right. And that's so, important. Great. Uh, Sayyid Sahib, we'll continue with the discussion. We'll go for a small break, come back and learn more from your wisdom as to how we can become uh, better human beings. Thank you for all this information. Thank you. Thank you. So Sayyid Noor Jahan has been talking about the fact that the suffer spirituality was started 16 years ago. He said that he was a person, but he had a lot of money. But he didn't have a lot of money. He didn't have internal satisfaction. He started the work. He started with Mrs. Nalralke. He started with the people on Friday night. He started with the people on Friday night. तो उस दिन आली सबब बनिया कि कुछ ऐसी इन्हनु एनवायरनमेंट मिले या जिस दिन कुछ ऐसे लोग मिले जिन्हने कि इन्हनु सुफिज़म नल जोड़े या उन सुफिज़म दा जो मकसद है इन्हने क्या कि राबड़ी प्राप्ति दा हर एक कोई करना चांद है लेकिन इंसान राबनु बाहर लब्ध है लेकिन राबता दिल बिच बैठा है अ वाइसेस ते वर्चुअल्स दा चलाए हैं कॉन्सेप्ट है क्या जड़ा इन्हने जिक्र की तह गए कि हर रोज हर समय साढे बच्चे की जंग चल रही होंडी है उस जंग ते जदो ऐसी कामयाब हो जावांगे यानी कि अपने ते काबू पालांगे अपने वाइसेस दोते ते हॉली हॉली ऐसी उस रस्ते ते तुरना शुरू कर दांगे जड़ी प्रैक्टिस सईद साहब का यही कहना है कि यह स्टैप जोड़ा है शुरुआती दौर के उत्ते अपने आप तो कम करना शुरू किया जाए लिखा जाए कि वो चीज़ जी सूँ सता है जिस तरह इन्होंने कहा कि असं क्यों दूसर तो जैलिस होंगे क्यों असी गलत रस्तिया तुर पैने नमाज का समा हो प्रार्थना का समा हो सा दिल नहीं करता इस वास्ते जो असं इस रिलेट करके अपने नाल देखा तो हौली हौली सूँ रियलाइजेन होएगी किस तरह होर इस रियलाइजेन असी अपनी अवेयरनैस में स्ट्रोंग करना है इस बारे गल करने इस छोटी जी ब्रेक तो बाद कि तुसी कर्जे दे बोझ हेठ दब्बे हो समझ नहीं आंदा की करो फाइनेंशियल प्रॉब्लम्स ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਮਾੜਾ ਅਸਰ ਪਾ ਸਕਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਚ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮਦਦ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕਰਜ਼ੇ ਨੂੰ ਵੱਧ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਘਟਾ ਕੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਰਕਮ ਨੂੰ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਕਿਸ਼ਤਾਂ ਚ ਬਦਲ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਰਜ਼ੇ ਤੋਂ ਮੁਕਤ ਕਰਾ ਕੇ ਨਵੀਂ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਜੀਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮਦਦ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ 18667908984 ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨਸ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਪਰੇਸ਼ਾਨੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਾਥੀ Once again, welcome back to the program. I am very proud of Sayyid Noor Jahan Sahib, who is the way that spirituality is going to be a good person. How do we know more about it? How do we know more about it? So sir, before the break you were talking about that start recognizing, start understanding yourself and start writing the things which are troubling you. And that is the first step. So after you start realizing, for example, you give that example, I like that example of when there is a time to pray, your mind doesn't want to go over there. So once you start training it, training it and bringing it back to that field, mm -hmm. that's the first step. What happens after that? It means identifying the problem mm -hmm. so that you know you have a problem right. and then you have to seek out a solution. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, most people don't think they have a problem. Right. So you have to be honest with yourself. When mm -hmm. I seek out a solution, what they teach us is that you can't lift yourself out of a hole. Mm -hmm. So if you fall in life, it's like, a, it's like a pit of sand that you just keep quicksand, keep going down further and further means that you can't take yourself out of difficulty by yourself mm -hmm. because it's the self that got you into the difficulty. Right. So when you're honest that I want to fix myself, I want to get out of this difficulty and bad characteristic, mm -hmm. is you have to seek guidance. And right. That's the whole understanding is seek the people mm -hmm. that have that reality. Accompany these people, mm -hmm. accompany these associations because there's an energy there. Right. That they have an energy within their soul mm -hmm. because God is giving them that energy, that right. they fix themselves, what we say, kunu ma sadaqeen, where Allah is saying that be conscious of the divine right. and keep the company of the truthful servants. Right. Because they, through their purification, through their practices, they've been given a light. Mm -hmm. That light is like a companion that lifts you out of difficulty, mm -hmm. reminds you 
So look like you're putting yourself back into difficulty. Right. Give you your practices, your religious practices, your form. Mm -hmm. Also give you the recitations. Right. That you have to also recite and mm -hmm. energize the soul. But most important is keeping the company and companionship of truthful people mm -hmm. and spiritual guides. Right. Because they constantly will remind where myself is playing with me. Right. Because if I left to myself, I'm mm -hmm. going to follow all my own desires. Of course. So when I follow an outside guide, not that they force me mm -hmm. to do anything, because we're in a free country, free world. Right. But when they give me a coordinates, when mm -hmm. I ask a question, should I do this in my life? Mm. My opinion may be very positive. Right. But when I ask my guide and teacher, why mm. is his opinion or her opinion so different? Mm -hmm. Then I have to find the balance in my life. Right. Is that why when my guide is saying mm -hmm. one thing and mine is so far off, right. in my life we want to reach towards a center point. Right. Where the teacher's teaching mm -hmm. and my understanding are meeting and that should be a balance in life. Right. So Sayyid Sahib, uh, what's the importance of intention in one's life? Because uh, today, whatever destination we want to reach, we want to reach that. But we forget the journey and we, uh, we uh, just, our, our focus is on reaching that whatever where we want to reach. Mm. And over there when we reach that, probably the means what we adopted during the way, we don't give any importance to that. So what would be your uh, you know, comment on this particular thing that the, how is intention important and what role it can play? Yeah, intention is everything. Mm -hmm. Means if the intention is bad, the action has no value. Mm -hmm. If the intention is good and a constant reminder of what my intention was when I set out on this journey, right. that becomes again the, my importance and the importance of the, of the guides. Mm -hmm. Is that I have to remember what my intention was when I set out on this journey. Right. And then was that intention honest? Was that intention truthful? And then the guide begins to remind me mm -hmm. that correct your intention. Right. That as you correct and identify your intention, mm -hmm. God provides a step in which you can step on. Right. So without that intention, because an intention is an energy that we send through the universe. Mm -hmm. Amalum bin niyat means every, every action mm. is going to be based on that niyat and right. that intention. When you make the intention, God provides the step. Now mm. are you stepping in the right direction or wrong direction? Mm -hmm. That's the importance of self-reflection. Mm -hmm. so when I begin to reflect and the teacher to remind me that we're going off course. This is not what you had set out for when mm -hmm. you set out on your path. Right. And that becomes important. Mm -hmm. So another thing what we are seeing is uh, Islam as you are portraying and what you are telling is a, is a religion of peace and tolerance and mm -hmm. acceptance. But the way some of the people who are uh, becoming uh, the, I would say, the controllers of Islam are projecting mm -hmm. it in a different way. And unfortunately in the world today, uh, the way Islam is being portrayed is uh, creating divisions in the communities, in the societies. How do you see it and what can the common, uh, a common person, especially a Muslim, do to uh, you know, elevate these fears? Yeah, I think it, it's most important for all of humanity right now. Because mm -hmm. we, we, we're seeing Buddhists killing each other. Right. Which I thought Buddhists, they don't even harm a worm. Mm -hmm. it, it has to be a disease. We see mm -hmm. animals mm -hmm. at the zoo eat the trainer. Right. Don't they take the energy of the people who are watching every show? Oh yeah. It means everybody's affected mm -hmm. by a crazy energy. Now this energy seems to be on earth and a reminder from Holy Quran is that we don't change a people mm -hmm. until they change what's within themselves. Right. What we are seeing is the wildness of the collective whole. Mm -hmm. That when we promote wild desires, when we promote violent video games, when we promote all sorts of excessive crazy lifestyles, mm -hmm. it's just going to only be a reflection of now the crazy sort of religious interpretation based on the crazy lifestyles. Mm -hmm. Where nobody wants to be spiritual, nobody wants to check their intention. Mm -hmm. These people that are committing atrocities, we don't even think them to be Islam because mm -hmm. religion is pure for God. Right. If a Muslim is crazy, mm -hmm. he's sick, but the religion is pure from Allah. Right. Now the interpretation based on sick people mm -hmm. will be sick interpretation. So we say many times that you know you can be a crook, mm -hmm. but if you try to dress it in a dress of Islam, mm -hmm. you're Islamic crook. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change anything until you change yourself. Right. So we have many different countries and different places and different nationalities. If the people themselves are bad, 
Mm -hmm. The dress of Islam doesn't change then. Right. Islam is, is not a noun. So many people come to the center and they say, mm -hmm. it's not like a you know, Versace. Right. You put it and you go out. <laughs> Islam is an action. Right. Where the reality of Islam, mm. it means submission. So right. every religion where somebody is practicing submission, mm -hmm. he's a submitter. Right. It's an action. But why aren't they putting it into action? Mm -hmm. Why aren't they trying to submit their bad character? Why aren't they making a, an accounting and a tafakkur? Right. And that's the problem. So mm -hmm. but we can't change the whole world, we change one person at a time. Right. If we begin to change ourselves, mm -hmm. God's promise, I'll change everything. Right. But how am I going to give you a, a righteous and pious leader mm. when the people are lousy? Absolutely. If they're all crooks, mm. there's going to be a bigger crook running them. Right. Why would God send a, a wonderful, honest, noble, heavenly person mm -hmm. for people who are crooks mm -hmm. and thieves? Mm -hmm. So it means this is a reflection of our conditions in society. Right. That until we go out and teach people, fix yourself. Right. Make yourself worthy mm -hmm. of a good rulership and noble rulership mm -hmm. and heavenly spiritual souls because bad people will only destroy somebody heavenly. Mm -hmm. Right. They'll rip them to pieces and say that you're nothing and no one. Mm -hmm. I mean, so for us, it's a very big symbol of, of the difficulties of these days. Right. When people don't want to correct themselves mm -hmm. and they want to remain bad character. Right. Uh, but expect good results. Yeah. You, you, you <laughs> plan to garbage and expect something, expect something wonderful. It won't happen. <laughs> yeah. Right. And finally, as you've already mentioned, that start recognizing the uh, follies what you're doing and mm -hmm. then have a good company. Any final bit of advice what you would like to give so that everybody can prosper, not only financially but uh, spiritually? Yeah, I think that the, the keeping a balanced life, mm -hmm. that financial prosperity and spiritual prosperity will let you to sleep happily at mm -hmm. night by keeping an accounting of yourself and seeking out good people and keep right. the company of good people. The people that you are with mm -hmm. is a symbol of the people you'll be with in your paradise reality. Right. So if you're constantly with bad people mm -hmm. in the material world and saying, no, no, in my paradise will be fantastic, right. it's not true. Mm -hmm. So when we begin to look around us and say, these are the people I want to be in paradise with. Right. I want to be in my, in my heavens with. Mm -hmm. So it means I keep the company of good people, truthful people, honest people, so that I'll always be in this world to be good and in the hereafter to be good. So Sir, thank you so much for all this information, you. for your wisdom. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank, thank you, you and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. सो सैयद नूर जहान जो असी गलबात की इन्होंने दो महत्वपूर्ण विषय उत्ते जो बाद एम्फोसाइज किया वो है कि चंकी कंपनी साध संगत जो है एक व्यक्ति जो है कला कुछ नहीं कर सकता लेकिन जेकर इनवायरमेंट चंगा हो तो यकीन तौर उत्ते अकाउंटेबल हों यही साध संगत उत्ते सारे धर्मों के एम्फोसिस किया गया कि चंकी कंपनी जो असी रखा तो उस सू गाइड करेगी सू मोटिवेट करेगी तो असं सही रस्ते से तुर सकेंगे जो उन्होंने सवाल पूछा कि अज इस्लाम एक वक्रे तरीके प्रोजेक्ट जो किया जा रहा है उस संबंध में की समझते हैं तो इन्हों का कहना है कि वो लोग जो अपने आप को इस्लाम की गलत मिस इंटरप्रिटेन करके अगे आ रहे हैं वो इस्लाम के सही बाणी नहीं हैं इस्लाम का मतलब है सबमिशन सबमिशन का मतलब है कि हमेशा ही अपने अंदर झाक मार के ना सिर्फ अपने आप को ठीक करना पर समाज में भी कुछ चंगा लिया इन्हों का कहना है कि असी कि एक्सपैक्ट कर सकते हैं कि जेकर असी एक प्लांट की सीड पाने वो जो अंब का असी बूटा लाया तो किस तरह जो अमरूद होएगा ये मतलब कि जो असी बीज रहे हैं उही बाहर आना है अच्छ समाज में जो कुछ रिफ्लैक्ट हो रहा है असी चाहते हैं तो हाँ चंगे रिजल्ट पर कि असी बीज पा रहे हैं इस प्रति इन्होंने कहा कि सुहिरता की लड़ हैगी सू जरूर इस पास ध्यान देना चाहिए है कि किस तरीके असी अपने परिवर्तन लिया के समाज में तो उसके बाद अपने आले दुआले चेंज लिया सकते हैं आस करते हैं कि तुम्हें प्रोग्राम जरूर पसंद आया होएगा तो कोई सवाल हो तो साढ़े जरूर संपर्क करना हमेशा ही साड़ी ये कोशिश होंगी है कि वक्रे वक्रे धर्मों लोगों इतने बुला के उन्होंने सोच में अगर लैके आईए ताकि किसी चीज़ में भी सानू कुछ रे ऑफ होप मिल के असी अपने जीवन में परिवर्तन लिया सकी प्रोग्राम इतने ही समाप्ति है फीडबैक दे सकते हो छे सौ चार छे सौ तीन पचहत्तर पचवंजा के उत्ते या फिर ईमेल जरिए संपर्क कर सकते हो हरप्रीत सिंह शो एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम आप सब का धनवाद फिर मुलाकात होएगी तब तक